Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna show 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Triumph has announced the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 range which includes the Tiger 900 GT, Tiger 900 GT Pro, and Tiger 900 Rally Pro. With each bike providing more of what the company says its customers have grown to love about the Tiger 900. Just like our latest generation Street Triple, while the Tiger 900 has had a big impact, we're never happy here at Triumph to rest on our laurels. James Wood, Triumph's Global Product Marketing Manager said at the unveiling of the new Tiger 900 lineup. As a team, we're always pushing forward on every key dimension, always looking to make it better. Triumph Chief Product Officer Steve Sargent also sang the bike's praises. The Tiger 900 already has an excellent reputation as an award winner and rally competitor enjoying success against production motorcycles as well as purpose-built off-road machines, he said. In fact, the Tiger 900 Rally Pro was used by World Enduro Champion Ivan Cervantes, securing champion titles at the Baja Aragon Rally, 1000 Dunas Raid, and Basila Enduro in 2022. With such an impressive pedigree, we needed to set ourselves a high target to improve the new Tiger 900. We were focused on raising the game in the middleweight category all over again. Wood said the new Triumph Tiger 900 range will deliver. More performance, more capability, more all-day comfort, and more attitude. Basically, a significant step up, all while maintaining and delivering that unique Tiger triple character, an easy, agile, dynamic ride. Some of the changes to the range include a significant engine upgrade, higher peak torque, better fuel economy, new safety features, new instrumentation, a new rider seat, and a damped handlebar mounting system to provide more long-distance comfort. 2024 Triumph Tiger 900, more performance. Unique to Triumph, the T-plane crank engine with its 132 firing order and distinctive, raspy triple exhaust spark has been further developed for the new Tiger 900 range. Revisions to the liquid-cooled 888 cubic centimeters inline triple with DOHC and four valves per cylinder have resulted in a claimed power increase of 13%, taking the Tiger 900 from 93.7 horsepower to 106.5 horsepower. Triumph says this has been achieved while gaining more torque and tractability at low RPMS. The increased power can be felt throughout the rev range. However, for this increase in power, the bikes have also seen a claimed 9% increase in fuel economy, which means less emissions. Wood said the Triumph Tiger 900 line is now above 60 miles per gallon. With a 5.3-gal fuel tank, that gives an estimated 317-mile range. What's really great about our Moto2 activity, and what we learn from the Moto2 racing, is that it doesn't just benefit the roadsters and the super sports bikes. He said. We take that learning and we apply it across everything we do as a company, all the engines we design. And we've managed to take a lot of that learning to feed into the big changes we've made to the engine here and deliver this extra power but also the extra efficiency. Each new Tiger 900 model also benefits from a specific suspension setup, designed to meet the needs of the rider for each model. The GT is fitted with Marzaki suspension with adjustable compression and rebound damping. The GT Pro also uses Marzaki suspension, 